everybody, this video is for those who think that Yerf Mansour's music is way too complicated, it's all over the place and they don't understand it. Did you know that Yerf Mansour operated within 10 main styles throughout his composing career for the past 30 years and he quite advanced? First of all, the disclaimer is that these observations are based purely on my own musical experience as a classical musician and are based on the experience of listening to South Indian music. And obviously, my personal experience is the most reliable experience in the world, so you can absolutely trust it. Style number 10, Retro Melodies. Easy melodies, short motives, easy instrumentation, nothing distracting, nothing bulky, everything gets to the point. This is how Erman started his composing career and these songs turned out to be quite masterpieces. Nitra, Ilata Matram or Venilave, these songs are retro melodious songs of Yerachman. From his early composing career, Yerachman Sor has used Tamil beats, Tamil tunes to compose his folk songs. And this type of style was being developed throughout his career, along with the other styles. Just listen to this. As long as the lyrics fit the beat, the song will come beautifully. Not only Erman experimented with the Tamil folk melodies, he tried Malayalam too. Did you know that? Listen to the song for sure. You can't really like Tamil uh, folk songs only uh, without loving your neighbor in Kerala. Number eight, Carnatic classical style. The style which Yerman started developing from early days of his career. And Carnatic songs of Yerman are just wonderful and so pure, absolutely worth uh, binging. Of course, Yerach Mansour is such a versatile composer and it's difficult to imagine a better person who will wrap the Carnatic melodies into the modern instrumentation, thanks to his numerous predecessors and teachers. There was a period of time when Yerach Mansour composed peppy, catchy songs, which have strong resemblance with the American retro pop style. These songs will have repetitive motive, repetitive beat. Nevertheless, the songs are absolutely fabulous and fun to watch any time of the life. Number six, Bollywood songs with the twist. <laughs> yes, this is funny. After his success in Rangila as a Hindi movie, Rahman Sor had thought that, oh yeah, I can totally do this. And in fact, I can actually elaborate the topic and see what he brought there. While any person uh, who would have watched a Hindi movie of 90th, including me, would have been just used to this type of music. Bapi Lady or Jaitin Lalit. We basically grew up listening to this. And then comes Irahman with his what 
What language is that? Oh, is that Malayalam? And for all of us it was like, oh, there is a state called Kerala and they speak language called Malayalam uh, and their music is quite something I've never heard before. And also see how Yerahman wrapped the Malayalam recitative at the beginning with that bass lines. Yerahman has created a completely different, unique texture here. Number five, international influence. Yerahman Sor has said in his interviews many times that he would listen to the music of Japan or music of Peru or other South American countries. And he thought, why don't I try this trend for the Indian music? Such a typical South American beginning. I really like that Yerman in one of his interviews uh, with the, our stupid reaction said that luckily our Indian audience doesn't mind new trends. So it's not like you have to stick to only Carnatic or to only folk music. You can actually implement new trends. So that's exactly what he was doing. And bravo. Wow. Such tendencies you will find in the songs of 2000s, like Kadal Anukal, Kandukonding. Kandukonding. Number four. And you'll say here enough of innovations and experimentations. We've done a lot of it, we can't take it anymore. But guess what? During this time, the Sufi music is flourishing. Yerah Mansour has just exploited the Sufi style and he just excel in that. One of the best songs of Yerah are Sufi songs. They are incredible, they are amazing and they are very soulful. Of course, this didn't happen without the influence of Ustad Nusrat Fatih Ali Khan. When it comes to Islam or Sufi music, Yerahman Sor is a god. I'm not even kidding. And again, here you say, stop, uh, we are done exploring. It's way too many styles. Sufi was the last incredible style Yerahman Sor has developed. But no, there was a time when there was a need in electronic and robotic music. And then Yerman started thinking, okay, let me try this new robotic concept, electronic instruments, rap. Neutron, electron. You can never believe this song was written by the same composer who did Kun Faya Kun or Kwaja Meri Kwaja. This is not possible. Incredible transformation, incredible unknown avatar of Yerahman, a different side of him. Electronic era started around 2010 and even nowadays we can hear some of the songs with that electronic rap style. Then people were saying, oh, we like this, but we are missing some melodies, we are missing some more instrumentation, we need melody to come back. And then Erich Mansour started experimenting with the American pop or musical genre. Such straight 
accompaniment is very typical to the American pop songs of 2014-2015 and also some of the songs will have extensive use of the piano which started really trending in India and Irak Mansur is like thinking why don't I use piano here and there in the interludes in the accompaniment it sounds nice by the way he is the one who owns the Russian school of music in Chennai. So if you want to learn a Russian style of piano, go to his Chennai Conservatory. I'm not sure how Russian is that though. I need to go and check it out and validate. So I'm going there. And the last one. So Yerkman has tried every possible style. And then what can I try? What is the next style I can try? And he's like, okay, let me try experimental style. See how you like it, guys. Okay, I understand the melody, but what's going on in the background? It there is, there is just too many things going on I'm not able to understand so for those who think like that this style is called the experimental fugue when you get the melody and another melody and another melody and create the counterpoint where all the melodies will go in the same direction by intertwining between each other and that creates the polyphonic texture or the fugue and Erichman thought that yeah i can try the fugue and i will blend the, some carnatic melodies and i will also blend some western harmonies and see what comes up and we have Mayai as a result so if you have not understood that song from 99 songs not a big deal because i don't think too many people will understand that anyways <laughs> to wrap it up i personally have not seen a more prolific composer in my life even among the western classical composers who will deviate so many times develop so many styles and genres go outside of the boundary take so many risks impose them on the audience get the feedback sometimes not very positive and this is all one person one composer his name is Ia Rahman. Please comment on this video. Follow me on Instagram. If you want to learn the free piano lessons for the beginners, join this group. See you. Bye.